Hi everybody, welcome to our very last Taubman's live colour session for 2022. It is fantastic to be here this evening to talk all things colour and um, I'll run through for those of you that are joining us for the very first time, I'll run through how our sessions um, sort of evolve if you like. So for the next half an hour I will be on screen to answer all of your questions around um, colour certainly but also around any um, projects that you may be embarking on or about our wonderful portfolio of products that we have available to protect and beautify your space. So the next half an hour we will certainly um, do our best to answer all of your questions. Um, I'll be on screen for the next half an hour and while I'm on screen it's very hard for you to upload any images that you would like me to have a look at. So if you would like to upload the images once I finish streaming, so as I said, half an hour in front of the camera, and then for the next half an hour or so, I will, will be behind the um, computer answering the rest of your questions. So it's fantastic to be here. I'm going to let you know that, as you know, I'm in Queensland. We are experiencing some severe storms at the moment. So if we do lose connection, which I'm hoping that we don't, don't let that stop you from um, popping your questions into the feed and um, once I come back online I'll certainly answer all your questions. And secondly, you'll have to excuse me, I'm on the tail end of COVID and my voice is still not 100% there so you'll have to bear with me this evening. Okay, so let's start as you can see and I said it's our last session for 2022. I cannot believe that in a couple of weeks it's going to be Christmas. As you can see we're all very festive here this evening. Um, super exciting and so I thought tonight I'd like to talk about um, holiday projects that I know that people are going to be um, looking to do over the period, the Christmas period where everybody has that lovely break away from work um, and people do tend to take some extended holidays etc. So I know I am and I know that we'll certainly be doing some projects. So I thought I'm just going to take you through um, some projects, talk about um, some of the products that we can use and give you some colour solutions if you like or colour suggestions so that you've got something that you can come back or you can certainly take notes while we're here now or you can come back later on and replay this session and I'll certainly give you some advice and give you some answers. So I'm going to start talking about painting the interior of your home. Now as we all know when you're embarking on anything that you do preparation is the key. So the first thing that you're going to do is obviously wash down your walls if we're doing the interior, washing down our walls with sugar soap, um, rinsing, we're filling any holes, um, sanding etc, getting our surface, ensuring that our um, surface is, if you like is stable um, because if you've got flaking um, paint or peeling paint or anything like that you want to make sure that it is stable so that when you go to paint over it it's going to adhere. So that's really, really important. So the product that I'm going to recommend to you for preparation is our Tormans 3-in-1. It's a primer sealer undercoat. It is a great product. So, And you would use that, for example, I'll give you some scenarios um, where I've just mentioned, you know, you're about to paint your broad walls and you're filling and patching, etc. Once you've sanded, that is where you would use your 3-in-1. Any bare or new... Um, Chiprock or plasterboard, again, three in one because it has exceptional filling properties and it's going to fill all of those little, little pinholes, if you like, that are apparent in um, new plasterboard. So that's really, really important. And then I would suggest using a very good quality interior broad wall paint and that would be something like Torbman's Endure. I'm going to take you to our website so that you can have a look at what I'm talking about. So I'll take you to my laptop. I'll pop myself up into the corner. Beautiful, here we are. So this is a great place to start. So you're embarking on a project, you're not sure um, of what products to use. So go to www.torbmans.com.au and you've got a wealth of knowledge available here at your fingertips. So you can certainly browse, as you can see here, the drop down menu for colors, color trends, tools, color smith, etc. But you can also browse where it says products, and I'm going to hit prep products. And here's our three in one. It is a brilliant product. 
And the beauty of this product is that you can use it for interior and exterior purposes. So, and another use of where you might um, use this product is if you've got doors and trims that are going to be painted and you, um, what I would suggest is if you've bought a house and you're renovating that you do what's called the metho test and that is wiping over your um, doors or your trims with, um, get a dark rag, some methylated spirits on it, rub it on. Now, if the paint comes off and you can see um, paint, if you like, on your rag, you know that it is water-based. If it shines up, it's oil-based. So if it's oil-based, this is where you can go over existing um, doors and trims that are painted in an oil-based paint. Put on a coat of three in one, and then you can use your water-based enamel over the top. So it also acts as, if you like, it's an adhesion. This is where the adhesion properties come in. It's your, uh, what have we got? It's a primer sealer undercoat. So it's sort of, it's priming, allowing for you to then um, pop on your water-based enamel, ensuring that it's going to adhere really well. So that's where you would use that. For old doors, or doors I should say, and trims that are varnished, you've got an old varnish on them, and you're wanting to now perhaps you know, modernize if you like, um, and, and let's just say, for example, we're going to use a beautiful white on it, you're wanting to modernize, go for a white. I would recommend this product here, which is, and I'll just click on that so you can see it. It's our fast drying stain blocker. So it is shellac based. Now shellac comes from the female lac beetle. She secretes a resin, if you like, on trees in the forests of India and Thailand. And look, shellac is known for its stain and odor blocking properties. And if anyone's familiar with, um, you know, French polishing, that old French polishing that was done with, you know, with shellac. But so this is a shellac based stain blocker and it's going to certainly lock in any tannins, etc. when you're talking about old um, varnishes. That's what I'm talking about. So this is what I would direct you to. So now I will come back onto my screen. Oh, actually, no, I won't. I'm going to quickly, while we're still here, I'm gonna take you back to, I mentioned Endure. So I'll take you to our Endure. So this is Endure here. This is a product that I thoroughly recommend if you're, embarking on um, some renovation projects, um, a new home or whatever it may be, and you're thinking, what product should I use? This is my go-to, this is our hero product. It is fantastic. It has um, Nanogard technology. Now Nanogard, let me explain to you, a standard paint, if it were, to, if the um, paint film were put under a microscope, it would have a one size paint particle. Endure has that one size paint particle, but also a smaller paint particle that fills the airspace. And it creates what we call an interlocking molecular structure, which means that you can scrub the paint. It has mold and mildew inhibitors um, built within. It has a lifetime, lifetime guarantee. It has been um, endorsed by sensitive choice. And so what that means is if you have anybody that suffers from asthma or allergies, they can safely use this product. It is a fantastic product. It's available in a matte, a low sheen and a semi-gloss. Now here's a tip. If you have, um, let's just say, perhaps you're doing up an old Queenslander or you've got a period style home and you've got walls that aren't perfect and you're wanting to hide imperfections, I would recommend using Endure, but using the matte finish. It's going to, um, certainly help to hide all of those imperfections. So brilliant product and the beauty of matte, it has um, what they call ceramic microspheres in the paint and that is what makes it a matte finish and that's what allows it to be, if you like, a washable finish. So ordinarily when we're talking about a matte finish, it contains a lot of um, calcium carbonate and when you try to wipe that surface, it can fracture and it leaves what can be known as, I mean, if you wipe a ceiling down, for example, and then you walk away and you come back and you think, oh, it's still wet, it looks shiny. What that actually is, is it's the um, calcium carbonate fracturing and it's creating a shiny patch, which is called burnishing. So you're not going to get that if you use Torman's Enjoy in a matte finish. So 
thoroughly recommend that. That is the way to go. So I'll come back onto the screen now. Fantastic, so I've talked about that. Now the next thing I want to bring to life is um, color. That's what we're here to discuss. So color is, ah uh, look, Colour's amazing. You can do wonderful things with colour. Colour has the ability to evoke an emotion. You can personalise your space with a particular colour. Um, using certain colours within your home can say things about your personality. Certainly, you know, a coloured front door sort of, um, I like to say, is sort of, you know, the lead into the sort of person that you are, choosing sort of what colour you have on the exterior of your front door. So there's lots of different things that we can do with color. We can use color to make our space feel larger. We can use color to make our space feel smaller and feel cocooned. So it's fantastic what you can do with it. So I wanna give you a few tips of um, talking about colors in different applications, etc. So the first thing I'm going to recommend you do, because as I said, this is our last session for the year. And if you're about to um, embark on a lot of projects, I want you to go to a color wall and grab yourselves one of these Torman's Color Together free color magazines. They're beautiful. They're actually such a good looking magazine. They would make a fantastic coffee table uh, book if you like. Now, the beauty of these is, and we'll go through and I'll pinpoint a few different scenarios um, and information housed within this magazine. So we've discussed whites to no end this year and there's not a session throughout this year, last year and even the year before where we haven't talked about white. Um, white is certainly, dare I say, a colour that's very much on trend. People feel safe um, using white and you know what, I understand why and I certainly understand that if you are painting a house out to then on sale by using white um, and keeping it neutral um, it certainly appeals to the masses. But the questions that I do get asked a lot about are about which white wear, understanding how whites can work within different areas. So here's a little tip. So cool whites are for rooms that receive a huge amount of natural sunlight. They work extremely well within that type of environment. And a warmer white tends to work really well in an area or in a room that lacks natural light. Now, if you were to use a cool white in a room that lacks natural light, you risk, I guess you could say, walking into that room and it kind of feels a little bit gloomy. Um, and the white can tend to look, I'm not gonna say gray, but I'm gonna say, you know, dull, um, sort of lacks luster. It doesn't create a beautiful ambience, if you like. So I would recommend using a, um, as I said, a warmer white for a room that lacks a lot of natural sunlight or look to neutral whites, look to whites that have more of a neutral undertone because you've got a cool white, a warm white and a neutral white if you like. That's how you can kind of group whites. So the number one white that we have is Torbman's Crisp White. It is a a very elegant white. Um, it works in many situations and environments and I particularly love that white so much that I have it throughout my home. Um, yes, I do commit to colour. I know I talk a lot about colour. Um, I use colour um, in spaces like large barn doors. Um, my outdoor area is oh, immersed with beautiful shades of um, I suppose you could say a sage minty style green. They are just divine. Um, colors that I created using Colorsmith. Um, so I guess it's about finding the right white and don't feel that you have to use one white throughout your whole home. You can play with whites within areas. The only suggestion that I would have if you're going to do that, and this seems to work really well, is keep your doors and trims the same color throughout the whole space. And then you've got um, continuity running through if you like. So that's a tip for you. My, as I said, my pick for whites are crisp white. Um, I do really have a soft spot also for a color called Torben's Al Alpine Snow. 
Um, and I also love within our new magazine, and this is from our um, Chromatic Joy, which is our 2022 to 2024 colour forecast, which, believe it or not, was created with Colour Simi. And it is, and I'm just wanting to get it up here so that I can show you. Let me just see here. Okay, so it's on this page here. You can see it. It is um, wet chalk, which is the colour there. And then the bottom colour here, which is warm grey white. Let me make sure I'm saying that right. Yes, warm grey white. I think that they are two beautiful whites that if you're unsure of where to begin, have a look at those. Now, what I do suggest, and I say this every single session that we have is to get yourself a sample pot and that way you're not going to be disappointed with the white within your environment. So what I suggest you do, so you've got yourself a sample pot, when you pop into your hardware store, ask them if they've got what's called um, palette liners. They are large pieces of cardboard. If you can acquire one of those, Cut the cardboard up so that it is a meter by a meter square because you really want to get a really good idea of how the color is going to perform within your environment. So painting three coats of the white onto the piece of cardboard, once it's dry, there's two areas that I suggest that you trial your color. So the first area is right up top of the wall, right near the ceiling. Now the beauty of that is you're going to be able to see how the color is going to perform um, under natural light and also daylight. It's very important because when you put those artificial lights on overnight, your color can change quite dramatically. So you want to ensure that it's giving off the tone that you like. The second place to trial your color is down near the floor and you know so here's your floor here so right down near the floor and then you'll be able to see because if you do have let's just say for example you've got some beautiful floorboards that have you know a lot of warmth to them sometimes that warmth can sort of um, transpose onto your wall color so it can influence the tone of your white if you like so it's important just to see how that's going to play out and other things to consider if you've got Furniture within the dwelling and it may be that you have and I use this analogy quite a lot You've got a red leather lounge or you may even have some red drapes. I'm just surmising um, You'll find that under certain lights that that red can influence or Again the white on the walls and it can sometimes throw you know a little bit of a pinky sort of hue So you just want to ensure that you trial the color under all circumstances so that you are 100% satisfied with how it's performing in your environment. I've heard many stories and spent many a time at a color wall in store where consumers have said, you know, I went to my friend's home and she has a such and such white, it looks beautiful. I've used it in my space and it does not work. Why is that? And so I've explained those scenarios and then said, you know, trial a sample pot, etc. And that's the best way that, or the best indication of how you can see that the color is going to work within your space. Now, the other thing to consider using whites, if you've got a small space and you're using a light white, what can work really, really well is to paint your walls, your ceiling, your doors and your trims in the one color. Obviously using the correct um, paint so that you've got you know products that are fit for purpose obviously when we're talking about doors and trims you're going to use something like a water-based enamel that is very hard wearing so and then obviously for a ceiling you're going to use a flat finish because you don't want any glancing light etc so as i said products fit for purpose but the beauty of using the one color up and over is if it is a small area or a small space that you have and you're wanting to create the illusion of more space, it will open the space up because where areas connect, i.e. your ceiling and your wall, the eye is not going to stop where it meets. The eye is going to continue looking up and over and that's what creates that illusion of more space. It's fantastic. The other thing to consider, and I, I mentioned this before, you know, for myself, I have... Um, colored barn doors and colored doors throughout my home. I love that and it helps to identify different areas, etc. Excuse me. <clears throat> so 
So that's where you can inject color within your space. Don't be afraid to use color on doors and places like that and even your doors and trims. It looks fantastic. So now I'm going to delve a little bit deeper. I'm wondering whether I should take you just quickly to where the colors are. I will actually. We'll go back to our website. I'll just pop my laptop on, pop myself up in the corner. Now, as I said before, we went to the website, now to the drop down where it says colors and we'll hit or we'll select paint colors. <clears throat> Here we have a world of color at our fingertips. This is a great place to also sit at home and begin your color journey. What I love about our website is the fact that all of the colors are grouped by family. So if I select whites and neutrals, here we go. <clears throat> it's going to give you our top five whites and neutrals, if you like, and you can see here, crisp white. So this is a great place to begin a color journey. Um, again, start to shop looking for color, and then from that, you can go into store, acquire a sample pot, and from that you can then um, start to make some decisions around what color is going to work best for your space. So as I mentioned before, so yeah, come here, have a really good look as we can go down, you can see the beautiful varying tones. Do bear in mind that um, we're looking at computer generated color from my screen, and so what you're seeing at home may not look exactly what I'm seeing, and that's why I, I always recommend sampling via a sample pot as well. I'll come back. Fantastic. So the other thing, and this is a um, something that I see is um, becoming very much a trend. So if you're wanting to start to explore and play with colour, and as I said before, you know, you're unsure of where to begin and you're not quite sure about committing to colour, there's two places that are a great place to start. One being a bathroom and one being a bedroom. And bathrooms look amazing in beautiful, dusty, muted pinks. And there is a fantastic colour that we have here. Again, looking at our Tormans Colour Together magazine, I'm going to take you to page... 24 and there is the most beautiful as I'm tapping on there it's called um, unbidden or unbidden however you choose to pronounce it and it is the most divine muted dusty pink and I think that that type of tone in a bathroom accessorizing with perhaps a beautiful sage style green they work extremely well together and this is a place where you can start to explore and play with colour. I actually helped a gentleman in store, uh, would have been a couple of weeks ago and I think from memory his name was Roger and he wanted help to create a beautiful pink for his daughter's bedroom and so we did and you've seen me many times within or on um, these sessions creating colours with Colorsmith. And so we created a beautiful colour which we called A New Delight. Um, again, extremely easy with Colorsmith. Um, we diluted the colour or bleached, you know, diluted, um, lessen the intensity, or you could say bleached the colour out, so to speak. And then we created a beautiful, softer, washed out version of the colour that he was going to paint um, all of their baby furniture with. So just a beautiful way of using Colorsmith, um, embracing color and the fact with Colorsmith is that you can name the colors, whatever you choose to name them, um, you own the color. It's a fabulous way of starting to play with color. So I'm going to now very quickly share my screen, pop myself up in the corner. Fantastic, let's hope that works. Here we go. Okay, so I'm straight on to Colorsmith. I probably should have showed you. So here on the screen here, I've got a couple of um, QR codes. One is for Apple, one is for Android. Um, I'll give you a couple of seconds if you're wanting to scan on those and it will direct you straight to where you can download the app. Now, once you download the app, you can see right up in the top there, the app 
where um, it says Colorsmith. If I tap on that, it's going to bring me to a screen that looks like this. Now the beauty, again, if you're shopping for color and you're unsure of um, where to begin, download the app. Our Chromatic Joy, so our 2022 to 2024 color forecast is housed within Colorsmith. We also have some fantastic um, trend palettes put together here. We have our Bold, Scandinavian, our Hamptons Contemporary, along with Whites and Neutrals. So it's a great opportunity to play around with color. And so I'm going to take you to Hamptons and you can see the beautiful tones that are there. Now we've spent many a session um, throughout the last couple of years, if you like, with questions re revolving around Hamptons and Coastal. And so this is a great place if you're looking to embark on an exterior journey or an interior journey. Um, these colors can work extremely well. So this is where you can have a play with the colors so you can select for example this beautiful soft blue which is named accordingly they're all housed again at the back of the magazine here but they're also housed in our colorsmith app which is very clever so the beautiful blue the soft blue is called south fork and i'm just going to quickly tap on that and this is here where you can start to play with color. So you can save my color, you can name it whatever you want to name it. But here where I was talking about when I was helping the gentleman, Roger in store, creating the a new delight pink for his daughter. This is where we lessen the intensity or diluted um, the color or, or washed it out or bleached it out, whatever terminology you like to use. So this is where you can play and manipulate with your colors. So we lessen the intensity and by doing that, so we've got South Fork here, we could dial it down to that, um, the first color that you can see on the screen or we can dial up the intensity and we can create some beautiful monochromatic color, color schemes, sorry, working with that Hamptons collection. The other thing that you can do as well, once you, save and create a color within the app. You can hit combinations and it brings up some beautiful tones that have been designed to work with the color that you've created. So there are some gorgeous, gorgeous, sorry, soft, um, there's a beautiful soft greeny tone. There's almost a soft lilac if you like. And there's, there's some strong, bold grays that work extremely well. Um, you know, working within that Hamptons um, category, if you like. So I'd suggest, again, while you are shopping for colour, hop on to Colorsmith. Um, you can find the app. You can find the app on our um, Tormans website. You can go down to where it says Colorsmith and it will direct you to where you need to go. So I'll come back on screen. So, and I guess the other thing we've also talked about are some of the most beautiful um, greens that have been oh, asked for throughout the whole season and one color or well, there's actually two tones of green that people have been shopping for and one of them is um, sage so I've you know sort of coined a phrase if you like that we've had the age of sage this season and you know I really do believe the beautiful um, versatility that evolves or around green I think that we'll see green being a player in trends moving forward for for quite a while um, it's certainly a color that i'm drawn to it's certainly a color that i've had a lot of interactions with a lot of consumers um, throughout the year with so you've got your beautiful sage green and sage can range from anywhere from a spearmint mint going into more of a silvery gray green it just depends on what your definition of sage is um, we've also had some fantastic um, farmhouse style greens evolving and there's been quite a lot of um, talk around people using this beautiful farmhouse green in their kitchen so we've seen so much of that and again you know if you're shopping for some beautiful greens again looking at our bowl oh, sorry looking at our Scandi collection and having a look it's back to front on the camera here and having a look at our our shaker style green sort of really fits into 
what people are talking about when we're talking about a farmhouse green. And then again, going back to our um, color forecast, and I'll quickly show you another couple of colors. I know we're running out of time. Looking at the top two colors within here, we have our daybreak and our soft look. The most beautiful, soft, muted greens that are very much on trend. And if you're shopping for a green or you're shopping for a color and you're unsure of you know, what you think um, you like, have a look at green. You cannot go wrong with green. It's a very, you know, when we talk about neutral style whites or neutral style grays, they tend to have that green gray undertone and they tend to be very versatile and work extremely well with, within many applications and with many other colors. So you cannot go wrong with green. So I'd certainly suggest everybody out there grabbing one of these, as I said, the Torman's Color Together magazine, having a look for uh, more inspiration on our website, which is www.torman's.com.au, and certainly using the drop down menus where it says colors, um, shopping in the drop down menu where it says products, and learning more about what you need to do, what you need for um, which project if you like. It's all been put into categories for, you know, if you've got interior, exterior, prep work, doors and trims, you cannot go wrong. Everything is there. And the other thing before we end, in the back of this, it's got how to paint an exterior wall. It's got how to paint a door. Um, it's also got how to paint a nursery with our top nursery colors which is fantastic um, for anybody that's lucky enough to have a newborn. And um, you've also got how to create some wall stencils, but also how to prepare an interior wall, which is what we started the session with. So fantastic. Um, as I said, wealth of information within that magazine and certainly a great destination to shop when you're about to start all of these fantastic holiday projects. So I guess that wraps up our session for this evening. And I'd really like to thank you all for um, joining us for another fantastic year that we've had being 2022. I cannot believe that we are, you know, two weeks away from Christmas. It's crazy. Um, yeah, thank you so much for um, joining us, supporting us. Thank you very much for all of the questions that you've been asking us throughout the year. It's been fantastic to be here and to um, be able to offer some colour advice to you all and some product and project advice. As I said, we have the most amazing um, range of products available to protect and beautify your space. So I'm going to finish off saying uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Have a fantastic holiday season. Um, Happy New Year. Stay safe. Um, I look forward to seeing you again in 2023 when we um, reconvene our colour sessions. And until then, I'll sign off as I do every single week. Happy painting. Good night.